Since the church was formed in 1953, it has undergone many changes to keep up with the vibrant community it lives in. Shortly after Father Thero's arrival, it became clear another change was already underway. Well, it started on a Saturday afternoon in one part of the church. I used to sit in the church, sit in the pew, because there weren't too many people going to confession, so I had time to think and pray. And I was looking at the sanctuary, and there was this orange curtain in the sanctuary where the cross was in front of it. And I, not crazy about orange, much less in a church, so I said, I gotta do something about that curtain. And so I, we were gonna celebrate, I think it was the 40th anniversary of the parish, and I was thinking maybe we could just fix up the uh, sanctuary. So, uh, so then I called, I said, I might as well get some help, and there's a, there was a liturgical committee for the diocese, so I called them up, and so they came down and we talked, and uh, one of the priests on the uh, committee said, uh, why don't you change the axis of the church? I said, well, I wasn't thinking of that, meaning the whole direction, and in other words, instead of just a sanctuary to make a full change in the church, so that's how it started. Father Ray had a, uh, had a model built and it was downstairs and so people could go and see it. Um, and people would say, oh, that's what he meant by turning it around. I didn't understand at the time. What does that mean? <laughs> How are you going to do this? I thought you physically pick the church up, turn it around. It didn't make any sense that the altar was here. How are you going to turn the people facing there? The people for it, but there were people against it. I'll be honest with you, I was sort of against it. I wasn't thrilled about them changing the, 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 the way structure. of the church, the structure of the church. <clears throat> we had belonged for so long, and then all of a sudden, somebody new, a new priest comes in, and, and you know, it decides to change. to change everything. You know, but, uh, but over time, and then when you look back, it's, I mean, we traveled quite a bit. We were fortunate that we traveled, and we've seen a lot of churches in the round. So it was you know, kind of be expected that it would happen. Um, really, it, it's better now because you are closer to the altar and plus you get the gathering space. Uh, I can remember under Father Bullia, you know, he'd be standing outside at the old entrance and you know, if it rained or it snowed, you know, you really, there was no way to greet people. You just hurried inside and because of a very short entrance and you wanted to get in out of the rain, so it wasn't, it wasn't conducive to discussions or people getting together like they do now in the gathering space. It took a while and progressed, and we had to have fundraising and so forth, but uh, it came about, and that's, you know, I think when we want God's will to be done, it's done or it's not done, you know, and I always felt that this was uh, uh, something that uh, was good for the parish, and as it turned out, you know, I think it's one of the highlights of my time here, not so much that I was here when the change was made, but that the people responded. It takes every, everybody to coordinate, you know, on these things, and the people just cooperated and helped and were enthused themselves about uh, the newness and the change and so forth. And so, not that they weren't some critics, but, uh, you know, they were understanding, and they were, they were open and uh, eventually saw the benefit. Yeah, it did. It did get better reception as time mm -hmm. went on. People could see how it was all going to turn out. And yeah, you really couldn't see until they started actually building it. Yeah. And then we all went up to Mount St. Rita for Mass on Sundays, which was good. I think we all enjoyed going there. We really did. And, and the fact now that uh, you know, we can't, we're back here, and now Mercy Mount has been sold, and now the nuns use our parish uh, for their services, for their funerals and whatnot. But it's, it's a returning a favor. They gave us a favor 25 years ago. We're now returning that favor. <laughs>